So today's video comes with a bit of a warning as I think I'm about to offend some viewers and I'm really sorry guys if this does offend you. Look, I'm an absolute car addict, I love cars, but I've just never really got or understood American muscle cars and this sort of extends to the new Ford Mustang. And look, wait, 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 before you start writing me any strongly worded emails or negative comments below, let me just explain my case. Look, I grew up in a generation that played Gran Turismo and watched Fast and the Furious, so the cars I lusted after growing up were things like the Nissan GDR, the Nissan Silvia, Mitsubishi Evolution, stuff like that. American muscle cars for me were always these big heavy things that were petrified of corners and my dad's mates loved American muscle cars and when your dad's mates love something, it's suddenly not very cool. So when Ford announced that they were bringing the Ford Mustang to Australia officially, I was a bit like, meh, so what? So why am I telling you all this? It's because this review isn't coming from someone that's looking at the Mustang through rose-coloured glasses or that's had a soft spot for the Mustang for years. I genuinely don't want to like this car. So for the Mustang to impress, not only does it have to be amazing, it actually has to change my opinion on an entire genre of cars. Let's see if it can do it. Let's start with the looks. I'm just going to come out and say it, it looks awesome. It's so masculine but sexy and cool all at the same time. It can be risky going down this retro-inspired path, but Ford have done a great job. I love that it's so quintessentially a Mustang too. Porsche do iconic designs so incredibly well, but here's a car that celebrates its heritage just as convincingly for a couple hundred grand less. The front end is so aggressive, and I love the rear lights. The proportions are spot on, and even the minimal amount of badging is refreshing. These contours over the bonnet, or hood, if you're watching this in the States. The roof profile and side contours make the whole car so muscular. That's not to say the exterior is all angry and no fun. At night when you unlock the Mustang, the door mirrors project the Mustang logo onto the ground. This is what I like to call a Spice Girls feature. Like the Spice Girls, it's super cheesy and you probably should never admit that you love it, but deep down, you know it's awesome. It's one of those rare cars that, while being so extroverted in the way it looks, it still looks cool and just oozes with cred. Yeah, it looks awesome. Damn it. Okay, the inside. Look, it's no BMW or Mercedes for the touchy-feely bits, but I'm glad it's not. If this had some super high-end luxury interior, it wouldn't suit what this car is all about. Again, like the exterior, the retro design cues are executed perfectly. Yep, some of the surfaces are a bit hard, but it doesn't matter because it all adds up to the experience. And if, actually, if anything, I'd like it to be even more hardcore. The levels of equipment here are great too, with Ford Sync 2 system looking after everything from the sat nav to phone connectivity, climate control and the excellent stereo via the 8 inch touchscreen display. There's cruise control, push button start, another display screen showing driver modes, car info, lap timers, g-force readings, drag times and a bunch of other stuff. The back seat has plenty of room for two adults, as long as those adults are either amputees or they're about 8 years old. But if you're buying the Mustang with the intention of using it as a people mover or a Tarago replacement, you're not mentally fit enough to drive, let alone own a car like this. So, the interior is great too. Damn it. Obviously the dominant feature of the driving experience is this 5 litre V8 engine. 306 kilowatt, 530 newton metres of torque will power the Mustang from 0 to 100 in around about 4.8 seconds. But it's actually the car's mid-gear power and torque delivery that's so impressive. It's lazy power, and what I mean by that, it doesn't go BAM, POWER, now we go fast like a BMW M3. It just has this delicious build of power and torque. It's plenty fast enough for the street, and out on these country roads, it just hustles along so nicely. And yeah, it sounds great too. Damn it. <laughs> I initially approached the Mustang's handling and steering all wrong. Normally when I think of a performance car, I think razor sharp handling, super accurate steering and generally a pretty firm ride. And the Mustang doesn't have any of those things. And thank God it doesn't because it's a muscle car. It shouldn't have those things. But that's not to say the Mustang doesn't handle because it really does. There's a fair bit of weight over those front wheels so <laughs> turn is so accurate and nice. And it just soaks up bumps so nicely as well. It never gets unsettled over ruts and potholes. But it never gets wallowy either. It's got so much control. Because the suspension's so compliant, you can really shift the weight around under, under harder cornering. And the way this thing just squats and powers out of a corner, so addictive. Damn it. 
To add to the driving experience, the Mustang comes standard with a limited slip diff and multiple driving modes, depending on how enthusiastic you're willing to be. Personally, Sport Plus with the steering in normal is my pick. American build quality has always had a pretty huge question mark over its head, but the Mustang is a true global car for Ford, and it needs to be built incredibly well. And for what I've found, it definitely is. Ford's three-year, 100,000-kilometer warranty and cap price servicing strengthens this peace of mind. All right, I get it, I finally get it. It's taken a few days, but look, the Mustang's bloody awesome. Here's a car for around 58 grand that has more character, charm, and charisma than some cars even three times its price. Doing retro right is a real challenge, and making a car feel old school cool, yet still being competitive with the current crop of performance cars out there is next to impossible. But the Mustang does muscle car perfectly, and I'll be honest, it's, it's totally won me over. Damn it.